Hey everyone, so I recently was watching the Bob Ross documentary, and I'm not even a fan of Bob Ross. I'm not really a fan. I never have, never have been. Um, I never really, I sucked at painting, and I never really liked painting, to be honest. However, I would be pissed off if someone took my name, my likeness, and everything else, and made a bunch of money off my name, and did a bunch of stupid knockoff stuff, and, you know... And make it claim that all those paintings were mine. I mean, it is illegal what they're doing. To steal someone's authenticity and putting a fake signature. I, I hope someone sues. I hope these people go to jail. And it is so disgusting that he's this Bob Ross Incorporated, this company. I mean, if you go on the website, they've got tons of random shit on there. And it's like, I really hope there's protest. I really hope people give them hell on social media. I'm serious. Go on their social media and just fucking rant. Just fucking, <laughs> just go on their fucking um, YouTube, their Instagram, whatever, and just constantly tell them your opinion and say, no, you guys should give his son his money. Uh, you people should be in jail. You people suck keep doing it i'm serious that's how you bring attention and then because of this documentary that came out i guarantee you the media is going to be all over this including myself i mean i would like to think of myself as a fucking journalist but um but yeah this is unbelievable i cannot believe that people are that in the jadinskis or whatever the fuck their name is um <laughs> He got screwed over by Russians. Um, I just can't believe this. This is just stupid and evil. I mean, how the fuck is it possible to be a nice person painting? And I, obviously, Bob made mistakes. Obviously, he had an affair. He fucked up, you know. Um, but it's sad. Like, his wife dies of cancer. And then he also dies of cancer. Um, probably from all the toxic paint or something. I don't know. Maybe it was from being in the Air Force. I have no idea. All I know is that this is unbelievable that people would be this cruel and this fucked up in the head that they would. I mean, you. I mean, look at all that junk on that Bob Ross website. They're obviously just using his name, putting anything Bob Ross to make a dollar. That's it. I mean, you can go on Amazon and go on like and there's. Plenty of people on there selling the exact set. I don't know if it's licensed, but there's a lot of people selling Bob Ross's image everywhere, all over the world. I wouldn't be surprised if it was on Wish. I mean, they put a bunch of knockoff stuff in China out there all the time. So it's like, it's just, it's sad. Like a person who built a legacy and built um, all these things and, and, and basically put joy in everyone's faces of, you know, teaching people how to paint. I mean, to this day, in 2021, even last year, during Halloween, people still dress up as Bob Ross. To this day. And people are going to be dressing up as Bob Ross forever. In the next couple months when Halloween gets here, I guarantee you people are going to be dressing up as Bob Ross. I've seen that countless times. The man inspired a lot of people. And anybody who inspires a person to make their life better is a hero in my book. Um, this is just disheartening. I, I can't get over this documentary. It's like at first you're like, oh, this is cool. You know, this is about a guy and painting in his life. And then it start off kind of slow and boring. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick. But it, the documentary did start off kind of boring in the beginning. Then when I got about, what, 40 minutes in, then it got very interesting very quickly. So it's just in the very beginning, like the next like 10, 20 minutes, I was really bored. I was going to stop watching it. Um and I just started watching it. And I was like, I'm going to start watching this. And I did. Um, but I just, I can't stand people who all they care about is money. 
That's all they care about. And I really hope they go out of business. And you know what? I've seen it happen. I've seen people shut down corporations because of this. People who are fans of people. Trust me, when people are passionate and when someone moves somebody and changes their life, people will defend you and they'll do whatever they can to stop you. And I guarantee you that that's what's going to happen. People are going to be protesting. People are going to start doing petitions. People are going to start giving them shit on social media and telling them to go fuck yourselves. <laughs> They're going to start calling them sons of bitches. I already did. Um, but when you do that kind of stuff, you're going to get a lot of hate mail. And you know what? If that's enough to push um, the envelope further just to get that attention it has to be done because here's the thing movements don't happen overnight but holy fuck does movements actually work and don't tell me they're fucking useless or pointless or whatever because this is an injustice to not only um bob's son but also for his legacy as well i mean you're ruining a guy's reputation and everything he stood for. And that's the part that pisses me off the most. Someone who built something and worked so fucking hard for something. And people understood that and they acknowledged it and they worked at it with them. And then they became a, you know, uh, like a following. And that's what's upsetting. Like, it, it amazes me that people do that shit all the time. I, I hate that. I hate when people fucking exploit someone just for fucking money. It's like the guy's fucking dying of lymphoma. And you want to exploit him and sign over his name and his likeness. And constantly trying to exploit him. And now you're selling a bunch of garbage shit on your website. With literally everything Bob Ross. And the thing is, the guy cares about quality i mean bourdain would be the same way i would be the same way i don't want my fucking face on a t-shirt he believes in authenticity he, he he believes in something greater than himself you know that's why when he did those type of paints and brushes and stuff they had to be a specific quality they had to be a specific way and everything he put time and detail into how the product would be because he doesn't want to let anyone down. So, I mean, think about when you buy something that, you know, from that website and you buy it, right? So you buy that from that website. You buy like a Chinese made fucking bobblehead and it breaks like the next day. You just ruin the guy's fucking reputation. He was about quality. He wasn't about how much shit can we sell to Bob Ross fans to make a dollar. That wasn't his intention. His intention was, I want to make the finest paints ever money can buy. And that way you could be just as good as him. And that's what he did. And that's what's upsetting to me. Like It's like he was a craftsman. He, he was more than just an artist. He was a craftsman. He because a craftsman is constantly improving himself and constantly um, doing all these things just to perfect something. And that's what he did all the time. So for what these people are doing, I, I really hope they end up going out of business and I hope they get fucked over by COVID. I hope they lose money. I seriously want the worst for those fuckheads. Like, Oh my God, I just, I hate people like this. I fucking hate people like this. I hate people that exploit people for all their hard work. I'm not going to mention names, but I had one of my friends that ran a business out here in California. I won't mention his name or, or the business or whatever. I won't even say what kind of business it was, but let's just say things didn't work out and there were a lot of dipshits who fucked them over too fucked up this great family, fucked them over, and and they went out of business because of it. And they worked so hard, and they put a name for themselves over 
such a long ass time. I mean, they I I we I thought they were going to be around for like 30 years or something. It's crazy how long they were around. And it just makes me sad that people who work so hard for something and then they get exploited and then people say these things that aren't true and they screw things over and you know, you got these people who are screwing over the Rosses. It's like I don't um get that. If I made a like if I made something and I put so much time and effort into something and I put so much pride into something and then someone did the exact same thing and put my name on it even though I had nothing to do with it I'd be so fucking pissed I'd sue that motherfucker for everything they had. Seriously, I would even take their clothes off their back and just burn it in front of them and say, fuck you, motherfucker. Not only did I get my fucking money that you fucking owe me, I got your clothes and I'm burning that shit in front of you. So now you're naked, you're penniless, now go fuck yourself and go rot, you motherfucker. (laughs) Yeah, I can get kind of fucking nuts. (laughs) I have an anger issue. I can be like Joe Pesci, man. I can get really angry really quick, yell a bunch of shit. (laughs) So, yeah. Sometimes you have to go Joe Pesci on someone's ass. Um, Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Um, But, yeah, fuck those people at uh, Bob Ross Incorporated. They're all sons of bitches. Um, Please go on their social media. Please fucking write those motherfuckers. Call those motherfuckers. Tell them how you feel. I mean, do it, you know, in a good way. Don't, like, act like a fucking lunatic like those people who, you know, <laughs> like, were sending <laughs> crazy letters in the mail with ricin or some shit. Like, don't do crazy shit like that. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, don't, don't be like, don't be a lunatic. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, take it easy, everybody.